Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back, and today on Timu we have a very special package, because in this one we have another PR package, yes that's right, um, I didn't think I would be doing a PR package ever again, because I wasn't really liking the way the program was working, um, where you would normally get a package and then sometimes you got like a credit from it and you got more products and then sometimes you don't get it it's a lot of hard work doing the video as it is to put it on to then not get something back in return and just as i was sort of like pondering on it i got an email come through and it was from someone else that i'm not normally uh with like the marketing team it was a totally different person and apparently what's happened is Timu have done a change. So what they've done is they've reinvested and re sort of like reprogrammed the program, if you like. And I noticed on my credit that I had a £25, I think it was 25 or 23 something like that, um, reinvestment credit. And it said something along the lines of reinvestment program. So I think they've just been sort of like tinkering with the program. Um, I do understand that they're supposed to be doing a thing where every package will now get a reward. We'll see how that works. I don't know how that's going to work at the moment. As I said, um, if you want to get something from Timu, I have got a special link in the li uh, discount code in the link of the video. So it will get you some money off when you next shop. That's for new customers. As far as I believe, it's new customers um, only. But in here, I had to add... I had to have my own personal touch. I love Timu, because I do. Um, <laughs> and we have 13 items in here, and it is a lovely fat big orange bag. So Lizzie's favorite bag. So uh, they are slowly creeping back. Um, now I picked the, when you're doing Timu, you do get, if you're in the seeding program, you do get various different categories. And I thought, I'm gonna risk it. I'll try the craft one. Because the last time I tried to do a craft one, there was no paintings in it. And I think they have really, really listened. Because I was blown away when they said, when they showed like, all diamond paints in it. I was like, oh, heaven, oh yes. You know, so I was super excited. So I can't wait to show you in here. It's all diamond paint related. And as I say, I have got a discount code in the description of the video. If you want to, um, you know, have a shop around and uh, get some money off, eh? Um, so... Yeah, so really, really good. And we'll get into here and already we can see something. Oh, look, they've given us one of them lovely Ziploc baggies. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, brilliant. Okay, so it's like Mary Poppins bag in this. Um, we've got, oh, look, especially for me. They've done that for me. Look, Timu. Oh, yes, that's fantastic. Look, they've put it all in here. Oh, how cool is that? No way! Oh, that's fantastic. Look, how kind is that? They've given you a lovely, big, ginormous bag of products here. And you might see a little special something. Oh, super excited. It's like you've gone shopping to the shop in Timu. Could you imagine a Timu shop? Um, that would just be amazing. But I'm going to keep this back. That's gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to get into the first one. There's quite a lot to show you guys. So we'll get that down here. And I'm going to go into my magic bag of stuff and the first one i got was this cute little tiger as you know i adore tigers very dearly and i love tigers very much so i had to get this and um yeah so uh really really couldn't wait to get into this so this is um a 20 times 30 it's not really a size i would normally go for because i do like me 30 times 40s i do like me 20 times 20s but it's the only size they had available and i just oh, how can you not say no to this it's so gorgeous so in this one and i was thinking about doing this as a night live stream but there's just too many to go through so i think we'd be there all night till six in the morning <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in here, we've got 20 times 30. We've got 15 colours on the uh, colour chart here. And what I love about this is it's a nice, cute sort of cup painting. But what's lovely is you've got that glare of the sun coming in. And then it's sort of like beaming onto his face. But then you've got that sort of like shadow from the back area. Because as you can see here, we've got the sun coming in. And then we've got a bit of the shadow covering his face. So this is such an adorable painting. Really, really beautiful. Let's just do a stick check there. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I had to get that. 
absolutely gorgeous and um it's the first unboxing since i've been away i've been away in uh bognor so uh it's uh nice to come back to timu packages you know uh <laughs> we've got our standard little boat there as you can see i don't know i just want to move this because i feel like i'm going off the camera here um we've got our standard little boat there and we'll check our drills in here so there are some really good ones in here and there's some that has been on my wish list for so long that i had to get them I mean, just to get all this for like free is just amazing because uh, if you want to join the Timu Influencer Programme, set yourself up a YouTube account and you can, uh, you've got to get, you know, quite a lot of um, content first, I should imagine. But uh, yeah, you could be doing videos like me and get freebies. So really, really good because you get something out of it and they get something out of it. They get the video and we get the products. So that's good. Um, also it's drawing people in to shop with them so we're drumming up business for the company so we've got a peachy sort of orange color there we've got a brown we've got a lilac and a lilac and another white now i know some people like to do if they've got a big haul they split it into two separate videos i'm going to try my best to do it all on one video um i've only got about an hour storage so hopefully um we'll have enough storage so we've got a gray we've got a banana and very beautiful yellow there um, we've got a sort of terracotta orangey colour, a couple of browns coming in. We've got a, um, I don't know on that one. It looks peach, but it, it also looks like a cream, so I'm not sure. Give me answers, guys. <laughs> um, we've got a, a very interesting colour, actually. That's like a sandy sort of purpley colour. That's really nice. I like that. Um, a sort of brownie mocha colour again. And by God, I had a lovely fry up on the last day of leaving camp. Oh man, it makes it sound like I'm in the jungle, doesn't it? But oh yes, that was a l It came out like a, a coffee machine thing. And boy, was it heavy loaded in sugar. Jesus, like too sweet. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about more because we're here to do time and painting. So um, the thing we all love doing. <laughs> uh, we got an orange there and we got a black. So very, very lovely indeed. So that's our first one. And I'm just going to get that rolled up so we don't have to sit there putting all the drills back in the thing. Um, so we'll pop that over to one side there. Um, we'll pop that to there. And uh, let's get another one here. See if I've got any... It's like Santa's... It's like when you... Know, you, know when you, <laughs> you know when you go into Santa's grotto and he goes, have you been a good boy? And then he goes in his magic sack like this, full of bits. And you've got to pick one out for just for visiting the grotto in Chelmsford. They used to do it a lot over here, but you would go in, pay like a pound of mission, and then he would like give you like a toy out of it, I suppose. Um, so yeah, this is really good. Now this one, I think it's an elephant. And yeah, it is a cute little elephant. So yeah, um, I had to get these. Um, I think most of all these are animals, so um i don't i tried really really hard to try and get something that was not animal related but the trouble is with me is i don't think i'm ever going to stay away from animals um that's the problem but in here we have um and what i'll tell you a trick here if you are an influencer for timu try and go for the ones that are a pound because then you're going to get a hell of a lot of paintings if you've got like say a 25 pound credit you're going to get your money's worth with ones that are like a pound you normally find your pound ones round about the 20 times 20 sizes you do get quite a lot around about 89p to a pound and here we have the 20 times 20 and it's giving me a valentine's vibe so we'll do that for valentine's and as you can see we've got a little heart there that is so cool because the elephant is blowing out of its trunk a lovely heart saying uh, you know he loves you or something but what's really nice about this is like he's in the showbiz he's got that lovely glare of white light behind him and uh i love this sort of ring effect going around like he's got the white then he goes like a bit of pink then a bit of other color and he's like in this sort of encapsulation of a like a snow globe you know like you know when you like chuck the snow globe and it all melts down with snow and stuff this is again 14 colors i really like it it's absolutely beautiful and nice pink sort of valentine's -y colors with the ears here and stuff and his lovely big round eyes is super cute so in here we have our standard boat again and then these ones are called a pj458 so uh i used to have a friend called pj and um fortunately uh he turns out and uh, we don't speak anymore so uh 
Um, we have uh, a purple. Well, it's actually a mocha, but another purple. We've got a beautiful coral pink there. Um, well, coral is not pink, is it? What am I talking about, Mike? Coral. We've got a purple. We've got a lovely pink there. And a purple. And another pink which is beautiful. I love these pastel vibes. We've got a lovely dark blue. It's probably similar to my Stanley knife, uh, craft knife here even. That sort of blue, yeah. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That is a really lovely pink. That is pastel. I don't think I've... It's giving me like an AB vibe, you know. I don't think I've ever had that a pink like that. And I have worked with a lot of pinks. We've got a lovely sexy red there. And again, whoa, this is hurting my eyes here, guys. It's very similar to that colour there. That is a beautiful, beautiful orange. Um, ready, pink, whatever you want to call it. And a purple there. So we've got that one there. Um, I think it's going to take too long just rolling these up. So I'll just put these to one side for a minute. And the next thing we've got in here, we're going to get a Whopper out now. Not a Burger King Whopper, but uh, this one is very, very special now. Um, I, when I very first started into diamond painting, I got a safari painting. And what happened was, is that it was like two elephants sort of in a background of a, like a savanna sort of thing. And when I saw this, it sort of brought back the memories for it. And that one that I did do with the savanna, um, that was an off-camera project. So I'll try and show you on the next whip and chat. Um, but in here we have a 30 times full tape. And look at this. You can't say no to this. This is an absolutely stunning... St oh, okay. We've got a bit of stickage going on. There's a bit of a stain there. So I that's glue. Oh, right. Yeah, you can see there's like some sticky residue. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is. But you can see it's there. And it's there. But it is... Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit on the sticky side. I'm not entirely sure what that is. But... Um, I suspect what's happened is perhaps the glue side is actually like another painting's got stuck to it while they're trying to put the cellophane on maybe, but I don't know on that one. But look at this, guys. Oh, so gorgeous, isn't it? Lion King vibe going on here. I love me Lion King. And yeah, I had to have this. 30 times 40, guys. Let's try and get that up again. Um, and it's a landscape as well. So I don't really get many landscape ones. I tend to work on a lot of portraits. But what I love about this is giving me Pride Rock sort of um, vibe going on here. You know, when Simba and Mufasa and Lion King are standing on Pride Rock in the film. Um, that's the name of the rock that they stand on. And it just gives me that sort of the opening scene with Zazu. And you've got that lovely orangey sky. Um, it's just beautiful. And you've got the moon seeping through. Now, I know Teresa, um, she left a comment on the video, which I had a moon with a deer and a, um, a drink. She said to, like, change them out for, like, ABs. No, sorry, glow in the dark. So I am thinking probably this as well could work with glow in the dark. But I just love it. Um, it's got this lovely tree in here. It's like they've had a fiery night and it's burnt all the trees black. Um, I just love it and it's like they're walking into I don't think it's water as such but obviously it's it's just beautiful I love it um, this was 25 colours here on the Schematic um, we've got ourselves a lovely bag um, of baggies there and our standard Ziploc bags I do love my Ziplocs um, so really really happy with that let's pop that over to one side let's go in the Schematic here um, sorry not the Schematic the uh Sorry about all the rattling, guys. Um, the, oh, what do we call it? The um, drills. But look at that. Look at that lovely, oh, yes, look at this. The lovely belt of orange. You're just blasted with orange here. And we've got ZTM07. That's quite a new one, I think. Um, let's get into here. And we have a black. We've got a brown. Another brown. A grey. Look, absolutely gorgeous colours it sort of goes from dark and then stems into like this gorgeous light pastel orangey colour we've got a vibrant yellow there we've got a little banana colour we have a brown a pink and another pink and a blue and an orange and a brown and a sort of coffee yellowy sort of creamy colour there a brown an orange do you know what I've had this sitting on my side for like two days because 
um i went to film it but my relatives were there so i was like i'm gonna have to bring it over here to do um so yeah um the agony of just looking at it going i want to get into it you know <laughs> uh brown and then with some other browns and a very gorgeous pink they're quite low on that color there um brown and a sort of uh, peachy reddy colour there and an orangey sort of colour a brown and a minty green so that is an absolutely gorgeous one what we're going to do next is we'll dive down to a 20 times 20 and this one is ah uh, no sorry this is a 20 times 30 now this one I have been debating about because it was in my um, cart for such a long time and I was just hopeful that they would bring out a 30 times 40. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to be seen on Timu with this. Um, and I've had to go, regrettably, with this 20 times 30. It will still it will still look nice, but I just really wish that it was in a 30 times 40. Even a 20 times 20 would work. But I, I don't know what it is. I just don't like 20 times 30 sizes. I don't know why. I just don't. Um, but yeah, I like this. Um, the picture, yeah, but not the size. Uh, 20 times 30, 16. And I thought if I don't get it, I'm never going to get it. So yeah, I love trees. Um, so I had to get this and it's lovely in confetti. Again, you've got that sort of reflection of the tree down the bottom. If we turn it up there, you can see it's like another tree in the water there. So it's like there's like a midnight sort of glow and it's sort of like reflecting in the water here so i really really had to get that lots of lovely colors going on i love this sort of like glare with the yellow as well again and have the tree sort of interlock as well which is quite nice as well so this is sort of like a really sort of fundry sort of pattern as you can see up there it's uh we've got drill there um it's like a, a reflection one we've got our standard um cellophane we are getting more and more of these cellophane bags um i think they're trying to cut down on plastic we've got a big thing here in the uk about plastic so basically all companies are trying to cut plastic and use more like less plastic stuff if you like so um next it'll be glass jars um <laughs> but uh yeah we'll get into here and in here we have oh yes lovely mingulation of colors going on here and in here we've got a blue we've got a green no actually that's a gray so that's quite nice that's gorgeous i'm just gonna have to go and get the charger because my phone's playing up again so just bear with me Just gonna try and plug this in before it cuts off. I have to do this carefully because if I don't plug it in, just pre-warn you it may cut off. I do apologize if that happens. Come on. Oh, it didn't. Normally when I do that, it will cut it off because it's very sensitive. Um, so yeah, I'll just try and get that wire out of the way. Okay, so in here we've got, as I said, I thought it was a green, but it's like a I don't know, like a grey blue maybe. Um, but it does look like a tinge of green. So I don't know on that, guys. Do you? I don't know. But then we've got a, an orange there. We've got a lot of these drills coming up with different drills in. A lovely purple there for Sunny Stormy, who likes the purple and the black. We've got a blue. Um, some lovely dark blues coming up here. Quite a lot, actually. We've got one, two, three, four... And I think that's probably a blue or black. I'm not entirely sure on that. It does look very dark, like a blue shade. But yeah, turquoise, which is uh, pretty nice because it matches my oil thing. Oh my God, there's a hair on that as well. Where are all these hairs coming from? Um, <laughs> so uh, we've got a brown and a yellow and a gorgeous vibrant pink there. And another pink, uh, sorry, green. And then we've got a... A gorgeous sort of mild pink there so that's that one so i'm gonna save the best till last but we do have a little surprises in this bag <laughs> it's like mary poppins bag it never ends don't you love it but uh yeah it's really nice when you get the offer of uh you know a company that reaches out to you and say look do you want to work with us and i'm happy to do it you know um if i get the option or the offer then yeah um, I do get some bizarre ones, I have to say, uh, come through, but I just tend to discard them. 
Um, but this one, I know Liz Harrison is just going to love this because she loves her owls like me. Hello, what is that? Okay, we've got a random piece of plastic. <laughs> Well, I've never had that happen before, but could it be one of them fish? You know that in the Chinese shops where you, it's like you break open this cookie thing and apparently you're supposed to put the fish there and it flops around in your hand like a, a plastic fish thing. I don't know what they call them, fortune cookies, is it? But, um, wow, I've got a random piece of plastic. Maybe that's our lucky sort of red uh, bow or something. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's a new one on me. But look, Liz Harrison, this is for you. Look at that. She. Lo I don't know if it's a penguin or an owl. I mean, it's given me the penguin vibe because of the black and the white. Because they're, they're classic penguin colours. But is it an owl? It could be two different things here. I don't know. Because it looks like a penguin and it looks like an owl. But I just had to have this for Valentine's next year. What's lovely about this, it's so cute. You've got a couple there. You've got the hearts going round in this gorgeous little teacup, which reminds me of the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland. And then you've got the flowers going round. It's such a cute one. And... Um, yeah, 14 colours here, and you've got that lovely white background, which is really going to work with the red here. Um, I just love this. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see that and um, see how that one comes out. So, again, that's your 20 times 20, and you've got your cellophane boat there. We're just going to get into this one now. And in here we have... Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Look at that. So in here, oh, yes, look at that. I love them colours together there. That looks gorgeous. Do apologise if it's a little bit um, overcast. Um, it is coming up to, I think it's like half six. So, yeah, um, we've got a pink there and a purple, sort of plum, a grey. <laughs> I love the way I say that, plum. You know, if you watch Miranda Hart, she goes, plunge. <laughs> Oh, I wish she was back, but she quit it. Um, for some reason, she gave up um, doing the Miranda Hart show. Um, so that's like a... Um, I'd say it's difficult because it looks like it's two different colours. We've got a sort of green soap colour there. That colour always reminds me of Brut Spray, um, which is a deodorant. Absolutely gorgeous scent. We've got a blue, a purple, and a pink. And another blue, um, so we have purpley colour. That's very similar to that one, I reckon. Mm, maybe a tad darker. And then we've got a pink, very low on that as well, and a white. So really, really good. We've got that. Now, let's get into the next one. I've never had so many paintings in one unboxing. <laughs> now, again, this might be a lovely one for Liz. Liz Harrison has a little Scotty dog called Little Millie. And although I tried to get one that looked like Millie because she's so cute, I ended up getting what I think is called West Highland Terrier or Scotty dog. It's obviously some sort of Scotty dog, but I'm proper sure, I'm more sure than not, that this, my friends, is a West Highland Terrier. It's got to be, isn't it? I just had to have this. It, this, what really, when I saw this, the first thing I sort of thought about was the Wizard of Oz because you know the little dog called Toto? Well, when he's running sort of through the yellow brick road with Dorothy, it sort of reminds me of, you know, it, it just, the way he's running through these flowers just bring back that film, you know. But this is so much colour going on, 20 times 20, 15 colours. It's just got so much colour in it. It's so beautifully done. You've got the sun in the background again, the lovely happy dog coming through, and he's running through this lovely patch of flowers. Very similar again in the film Bambi, where you've got that skunk. Um, and <laughs> I'm sorry, but that cracks me up, that word. <laughs> Can't do it. Oh, man. But anyway, it, you know, I think the skunk's name's Flower, is it? And Bambi, you know, smells the flowers and he finds the skunk. Well, in, you know, the mingulation of flowers. And, uh, yeah, I just... I had to have it, guys. It's so beautiful, isn't it? So I tend to, when I'm looking for paintings, I tend to go by colour. I like lovely splashes of colour. Um... So, yeah, I had to go for that. And this has got our standard boat again. So we'll put that over to one side. And we'll look at the drills again here. Okay. I was going to do this as a night stream, but I 
haven't really got an awful lot of time this week because it's been the first week back well the first couple of days back from Bognor so um I've got to do all unpacking which I don't really want to do really so uh I had to do a pre-record instead um <laughs> <laughs> and dinner is around the corner, so I need to get munching. Okay, so we've got a white, a grey, and a scratched up blue there. We've got a, a sort of ready colour, a gorgeous sexy pink there, absolutely fabulous. And a peachy orange there, a couple of blues there, dark green, a beautiful sexy pink again, an orange, and a lovely sort of dark burgundy. I'd say that's sort of like a mild red, sort of tomato sort of colour there. We've got a blue and a grey and a pink as well so and the fun don't stop there guys because we have another one coming in right now now this one is a turtle i do do quite a lot of turtle paintings um i'm actually currently working on one at the moment which is called charlie and that's how far i've got on it at the moment so i'm working on this one here just got one more square to do so yeah i wanted to get another one that sort of like was like a turtle vibe because um i thought it would go quite nice with that one so you've got like the boy and then the girl to it so this one is da -da -da, la -la -la. look at that isn't she gorgeous it's so cute and i love the pink in it it's just so much pink i love pink um like i've got quite a few pink shirts i've got my pink flamingo pen here i've got my I've got my lovely Valentine's pen here. So pink's such a lovely colour. It just brightens up your day. Um, so in here, 20 times 20 again. Beautiful colours. She's a lovely pink shell. Some lovely pastel colours going on here with the yellow and the white. I think that's going to turn out absolutely beautiful. And she's also got this like greeny sort of crest on her head there. A very short colour schematic here with 12 colours in it. So that one's not going to take too long. And it's lovely. You know, you've got patches of colour block in certain places. Big, bold blue, uh, black eyes there. And I like the way they've sort of done the cornice of the eye there. Really, really good. Um, or the contour, if you like. Again, cellophane bag. Um, so we'll put that over to one side and we'll put the lovely painting over to there and we'll check out our jewels in here. Still got lots to do, guys. I think there's another three, no, four, five. And then we get to show you the special worms. Oh, I'm super excited. So, why was I whispering? I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe it's a secret, you know, I don't know. Um, pink, <laughs> a black, a purple, and a grey colour. A lovely sort of yucky colour. Um, not keen on that colour. <laughs> and then a peach, and a green, and a beautiful violet. Always reminds me of the sweets Palma Violet. If you've ever had a Palma Violet, they're so good. And you get the giant ones too. Um, but I've always found when you get swizzle sweets, there always seems to be one pack of Palmer Violets. Only one pack, literally one pack. And I like the fizzy ones as well. You know, the fizzy ones that they do. Um, we've got a purple one and a beautiful light blue there. And a couple of purples as well. So, let's get into the next one. And um, let me just check here. I'll tell you what, we've had a few 20 times 20. So let's chuck in a 20, uh, sorry, a 30 times 30 next. Now, this is what we call a partial. And I was quite shocked at myself for getting this because it is a fairy. Yes, um, I showed Liz this one because I knew she would like it because she likes like paintings that are sp with the special jewels and stuff. Whether we've got special drills, I think there might be one here because that looks like a facet. Um, so it might be a facet. Um, I'm not sure on that. But let's get it in. And I saw all this and I just thought it was so pretty because what they've done is they've just done... Oh, gosh. They've done the wings. Um, what an unusual pack. They've done the wings. I'll show you in a minute. But as you can see, you're going to love... Oh, yeah! Oh my god, the crystals! Are you beauty? Oh, that's even better then. That is even better. Crystals, bomb.com. Look at this. How can you not say no? It's beautiful. What really draw me to this is look. Uh, it, it, like, oh, it's so good. You've got the wings, you know, you've got this lovely dress that she's wearing where it's all sort of sprayed out. It's fabulous. And I think once the crystals are on, you know, this is going to be superb. I'm quite surprised I got a fairy because, you know, 
you don't know if we all time with Peter Pan. I don't know. But for me, what really did it was the colour in her wings and the dress. I really found that quite nice. And look down here, guys. Look at what they've done. You've got the flower heads drilled in these lovely facets um, or the special jewels there. And then the rest of the plant is sort of like partialed. So all we're doing here is the like the um the wings, the dress, a couple of flowers here. And look at these big D ones. So that's going to be gorgeous. 30 times 30, guys. H. Um, it's a letter H there. And as you can see, you've got your standard drill. And look at these. I can see a special. Oh, it's been a while since I had a special. Oh, my God. Look at that. What the hell? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Let's put that over to one side a minute. No, never in my Nelly have I ever seen a drill like that. Look at that. It's like a little rose. Oh, my God. I've got to show this. I've so got to show this to Liz. No way. Oh, wow. I'm super excited right now. Okay, so we've got a silver, a gold. Oh, pink for Liz. And we've got a blue and a green. I'm rushing because I want to get to that special thing at the end. We've got a green, um, a, green a light blue, a gold. That looks like an AB. We've got a couple of blues. I think they're the Ds. But look, what is that? I've never seen a drill like that. How cool is that? Ah, that is like, oh my God, that is so giving me the rose vibe. I don't think I've ever had something like that. So what colour is that? We'll have to check in a minute. We've got a couple of sequin ones. Lovely ones there. And a dark green. That, your expert for this would be this. CP. Oh, it's the D. That. That's that up here. Oh, how cool is that? I told you it was going to be a good one. I can't believe that. I've done diamond painting for what two and a half years now, and I've never, ever, ever had something like that. That is absolutely incredible. That's fantastic. I'm sorry, but I can't stop saying that. That is just like, and you could keep it. There's a bound to be spares in there, so you could probably keep that for card making or stuff. But oh man, that is that's exceptional. How cool is that? Right, this is a really funny one because my dad likes monkeys and chimps and chimpanzees and gorillas and orangutans and marmosets and however many more there is. And I had to get this. And look at this. This is so funny. <laughs> because inside here, guys, we have a chimp smoking. Yes, he's having a smoke up. And did you know crabs will actually... I've seen a crab smoking on YouTube. <laughs> a real crab. They pick up anything, crabs. But I just found this so funny. I do have quite a lot of these sort of paintings. I've got dogs and cats and lions and all sorts of things. But this was another one on my wish list where I sort of thought, do I, don't I? And yeah, um, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely confetti sections in some places. We've got some colour blocking in some places. 20 times 20, 15 colours there on the schematic. And that's just absolutely outstanding. I absolutely love that. And look at that. We've got a green colour there. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll put that to one side. And we'll get this up here. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So... A lovely, beautiful look. Colours of the rainbow there. With the colours of the rainbow, white sounds going in the sky of blue. <laughs> um, that was a show years ago. It used to be called Rainbow, and it used to go up above the streets and houses, rainbow flying high. Um, but anyway, um, so we got a purple, a brown. I just can't get over them flower jewels. I, I mean, I know you get specials, but flowers like that is so cool and then we got a purple a mild chocomocha we got a burgundy and a green and an orange and a blue and a blue and a yellow and a, that is a really shitty color isn't it look at that that is like poo i'm sorry but i mean i don't like that color i think that's awfully that is horrible that looks like i don't know gorilla shit maybe i'm sorry but I don't know why they chose that, but I don't like it. I'm sorry, but yeah. <laughs> and I know I'm bound to make Teresa laugh. Um, uh, we've got black there. And <laughs> it does look like, like yeah, anyway. Um, blue and green and another pink. And we've got a blue, um, greeny, bluey, something like that. Anyway, 
Right, let's get down to, we're coming to the end, guys, slowly but surely. Let's get down to another darky one. And we've got the return of cats. Yes, we're going to be doing another cat theme. And I came across this one. I don't know when we're going to do it yet, because the schedule is cram-packed at the moment. So, uh, probably be some point next year, I don't know. Um, but look, I had to get this for the special um, Sunny Stormy, who loves her cats. So, uh, what do you think of this, Sunny Stormy? Because I know you're going to like it. And um, this is like that 30 times 30 one that I did, um, the multicoloured the one. But I just like this. It's like a little cat. You know, it's it's in the dark. It's looking up to the sky. You've got some butterflies going around there. And it just looks like so sorry for himself. So, I just had to get it. Um, you know, he's. Uh, it looks like he's looking up to the moon or something here, because the f the butterflies around this sort of area. So loving the pink around his whiskers here, and then you've got that lovely back uh, black background there. Um, you know that bold black ground with the um, confetti going on. I do. I did have a line that looked like this, and do you think I can find it anywhere? I tried everywhere trying to hunt it down, and I don't think they make it anymore. Um, that tr painting suffered some. Uh, paper damage um that got stuck on it and i couldn't get it off despite wet wipes and all sorts i just could not get it off and i had to sadly make the decision to uh just dispose of it but i literally tried amazon timu fansels everywhere and i just cannot find it anywhere um but anyway 20 times 20 15 colors we've got our standard little body and we have are you ready we have do -do -do. La, la, la. um put that down there apologies about the uh ambulance in the background there but we have a pink and a purple and an orange so these are sort of like your darker colors very vibrant purple there we've got a yellow and a blue and a green a couple of blues there a very gorgeous green there that's lovely um Again, reminds me of Wizard of Oz, you know, the Emerald City. And we've got another green, a very sharp looking, um, sharp as in colour, um, pink and a sort of plum, a purple <laughs> and a brown. So, yeah, we've got that one. And we're coming to the end now, guys. It's not fair. It really is not fair. And, oh, crap. I think I've already bought this on Amazon. I don't know. It looks awfully familiar. <laughs> oh no. Oh well, we can open it, but I'm pretty I dare say we've all bought the same painting twice at some point in our lives, but uh I'm pretty damn sure we've got this already. Oh bugger. Never mind, we can still do it. So this is a 30 tons for oh my god, look at the state of this. What in the world has happened to that? That is proper Oh man, that is proper yeah, I'm not happy with that. What are you doing, Timu? I don't think it's Timu, though, because I think it's customs. But that's going to have to need some flattening. Ah, now it's not the same one. I'll tell you what's doing it. It's because I've got another one that I got on Amazon. And it was a moon with, like, a little beach hut thing. So I think what's made me think it's the same is because it's got that glare. And that painting is very similar. So you can pretty much see this is a 30 times 40 It does feel a little bit bigger than it's a 30 times 40 I don't know why. It just looks like it's a bit expanded. 23 colours. And look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Colour block, colour block, colour block, colour block, colour block. It's all the way through colour block. We've got the lovely moon there. Again, probably could do some ABs. Glow in the dark, like Teresa said, um, up the top there. I think my camera's on the wonk. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's the, the wire's pulling it every time. If I go like that, the wire will pull it. So I'll just have to... Uh, be careful there but that is gorgeous isn't it and then you've got some light it's like there's a, a glare with the moon like reflecting on the sand there and you've got the um i think these are like dinosaur eggs maybe um <laughs> I don't know. um but yeah um i love it absolute gorge so um yeah something different so we put that to one side and we'll get the um we've got our standard boat sometimes in kits you'll get two right um trays because sometimes you'll get uh if the painting's quite big with drills you'll get a couple of trays and tend to chuck in a couple of trays but have you noticed they're phasing out i've not had a single one that comes with tweezers um not many come with tweezers anymore 
I have had some in the past, but it'd be nice to get another white packet. You know, that big, lovely Teresa pack. Um, but yeah, look at this. So we've got a brown, a green, and an, a very sort of honeycomb almondy colour there. A pastel orange there. A blue, and then a pink, a blue, um, some other blues there. We've got a, a brownie sort of black, a very lime green, um, well, teal sort of colour there, a darker green, a blue, a brown, a pinky colour, a yellow, a blue, a green, some oranges there, a grey, Again, another monkey colour. I'm not a lover of that colour there, whatever that one is. 019, that's number two. So number two is a... That looks... Yeah, it's a 371. That's not a very nice looking colour. <laughs> um, does anyone else agree? Like, do you like it? Because I certainly don't. Uh, and then we got a black there. Um, with me, if I get a PR package, I'm going to tell you negatives. I'm going to tell you positives. It's how I roll. So, yeah, some companies don't like that. But if you want to work with me, you're going to get negative and positive. So, yeah, that's that one. Right, shall we do the special one or shall we keep you waiting? We'll keep you waiting. Um, <laughs> now, this painting I've wanted for so long. And again, it was in my wish list. Same scenario again. I think this is, what is this, a 30 times 20. The reason I've held off so much for this is because I really, really want it in a 30 times 40 and I can't get it in that size. So I just thought I'm going to have to get it now or it will just sit there and sit there and sit there, you know. But I, if you recap a while ago, oh no, that's why you've got to be careful. Sometimes this will come off as you're pulling it at the package. So, oh my good God. Right, so in here, this is a strange one. It's like a, a landscape. I don't think I get landscapes very often in 20 times 30. But rewind a couple of months. You remember in the works, I did a works unboxing. And in that works unboxing was transport tape. You had like London Underground. I think there was one that had um, a tube on it or something. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but... Uh, let me just see if I've got it in my cupboard because I would like to show you it. Sorry, guys, I can't find it. But if you look in that unboxing, it was like a, you know, transport sort of theme tape. And I thought that would work really well with this paint in here. So in this one, it's a really sort of, my favourite place, one of my favourite places is London. And um, we visited there on the way back from Bognor. So, um, yeah, we stopped by because when you go to Bognor Regis, you go from London to on the circle line circle line to victoria victoria to the main line out to bognor regis and um on the way back victoria station is literally like five ten minutes away from buckingham palace uh, palace even so we just stopped off there and i just love london for me i'm a big lover of old-fashioned buses i don't like the newer buses in london i think they should have really kept them to the older make because the Route Master is a very classic um, vehicle in London. Um, it's, you know, part of London, if you like, I suppose. The black taxi taxis and the London double deckers, they're the number one favourites, you know. Um, Big Ben telephone boxes, again, sort of like, um, you know, I suppose you could include a telephone box. But yeah, everything that I like. I used to travel on, I think it's number 15, the Heritage Route. And that goes around Tower Hill and there was only literally, I think there was like five left and then they all eventually packed up. Um, but I think they may have one or two floating around still maybe. But yeah, I'm not a lover of the the older, make, uh, the newer make, I, I much like old fashioned stuff. Uh, 16 colours here on the schematic and uh, I just, I thought it was really lovely, something different um, and sort of transport. And I've I've been looking so much 
for something I could match the washi tape to um, from the works because I really want to use that washi tape. <laughs> and now we found it um, for something to work with. But yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. 30 times 20 there. Um, it would be nice if they could do a 30 times 40, but I don't personally think we're going to get that, unfortunately. Um, we have the special coming up next. So in here we have... Ta-da! And what we've got in here, guys, is we have a green, sorry, a grey, uh, a peachy colour, a black, a purple colour, a red, a grey. That's nice, a lighter grey there. This colour's cropped up a lot today, isn't it? That chocomocha sort of colour. Chocolate, do, 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 chocolate. That's the song. Chocolate, chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, a grey, a grey, oh bloody hell, that's uh, vibrant. 12, what's number 12? Is it your favourite Tessa 666? And no, it's a 6, no it is, sorry, I'm telling Porky's there, look, 666, wow. So um, that's Tessa's favourite colour, she likes her 666 for some reason, so um, yeah, her favourite colour's red, so um, she especially adores that colour. And then we've got a blue and, oh yes, look at that. Very gorgeous colour there going on. And a brown. So now, drum roll please. That's my very crap impression of a drum roll. <laughs> and we couldn't go out, we couldn't finish this video without a box of coasters. Yes, we have got coasters the return of coasters and i am looking at bringing in bookmarks i keep on promising you that and i will fulfill it i just haven't found any that i like at the moment now in here rewind a couple of um months back again you saw i did a turtle painting and they have like a series to it it's like seahorse um jellyfish octopus that sort of thing well i found coasters that match that and in here I love doing coasters. Oh, yes. Look, 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 look. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is going to be good, guys. It is the crystals. So, yeah. I had to match these. And in here, we've got our standard little boldy. But you'll like these. Are they upside down? Perfect. That's how I wanted them to come out. Because I don't want to spoil it just yet. But, you know, that little turtle painting that I wanted? Wow. And that's nice. It comes with the cork backing. I've just noticed that. I don't think with these butterflies, they came with that cork backing. That's the thing. Some do, some don't. But you can always buy the cork. Um, Liz Harrison's bought some. Um, but, are you ready? <coughs> can you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> <coughs> Apologies there. Can you see where I'm going on this? Look, jellyfish. Then we got a, a wow. Oh, it's got a cute little wow. Oh, yes, a baby wow. And a starfish. And we got a little turtle, an orange turtle. We've got a couple of starfishes. We've got the... Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, do you know what? With that blue crystal there, that's going to pop. That's gorgeous. We've got an octopus. We've got a seahorse. We've got... Oh, my God, what is that? Oh, my God. I would have said, like, I would have said, like, a clamshell, but I don't really know what that thing is. Because that looks like a shell, but what the hell is that? <laughs> and then look, the angelfish. So I'll double check that because I'm pretty damn sure there was supposed to be a... There is a turtle win here, but it's not the turtle... It's not in the right colour I wanted it to be, but never mind. But you see where I'm going on this. It would match that painting perfectly. And then on here, you've got your sort of cork back in. So once you finish, you wallop that onto there. In the middle, peel it off, job done. And then you've got some coasters. So, yeah, I thought I'd have some coasters. So, um, if I have a bath any time, I can put that on the side of the bath. Have my Coca-Cola there while having a, my bath. And uh, I've got something to rest it on. I want to turn my bathroom into an ocean theme. So, uh, I'm getting quite a lot of oceany stuff there. So, they're their coasters. And they do come in this little holder thing, which is really ever so lovely of them to include that. It just gives you something, you know, if you've got family or guests around for the evening, you can put your coasters out and then you've got somewhere to keep them all lovely and tidy in there. Um, so let's just took, uh, take a look at um, the drills. And I wasn't, I'm quite surprised they've come out with these crystally rhinestone ones because I wasn't expecting them to be this crystal but you see with that octopus that is gonna be be beautiful we've got some lovely oh it's giving us christmas vibes here guys look gold tinsel colors oh yes and then we've got a brown a greeny color 
an orange, a red, a blue, a lighter blue, a green, a yellow, another goldy colour, cherry red and a silver. So yeah, that is my at the end of my Timu haul. I'm, I'm not going to show you all the paintings again because there's far too many to go through. But if you want to get any of these products that you want, all the links are in the description of the, the video. And don't forget to use that discount code in the, in the description of the video. Um, I do have a discount code which will get you some money off your shopping. So it's a win-win. Um, so yeah. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed this. I will keep this beautiful Ziploc bag because that's really nice of them to do that. I really like these and I wish all the paintings came for this. So Timu, um, please could you send us more of these lovely Ziploc bags? They're perfect for like if you've got some paintings, you don't know where to put them and you want them flat, you can keep them in these lovely Ziploc bags. So I really like them. I do keep a lot of them when they crop up. They don't always crop up a lot. So you just got to... Um, be lucky and in my case i've been lucky in this occasion but thank you so much for watching um and if you want to get any of the paintings as i said they are in the video please remember to like share and subscribe and thank you for all my new viewers um already if you haven't subscribed to the channel come along we'd love to have you here and um yeah um until next time thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time for another team unboxing bye